Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. <coughs> I went to um, in Manhattan today. I got uh, Bakken Test OVA, uh, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. That of that. Um, just that's all I did today. I got a lot of videos to do tonight. <laughs> and that's only because um, why is that? Because because I was you know watching a few things, reading a few things, reading a few mangas last night. So I got a little sidetracked. But, at least to say, this is Katoro-san, episode review. After this, Tackle Pass, and Fit. Hey, before I get into Katoro-san, I got something to say to people. Fairy tale chapter? That second half was... <clears throat> was good. Was so good that... I don't know. It was. It had me on my. Kenichi was good too, but not as good as Fairy Tale. I think Kenichi, Fairy Tale was a little bit better this week. But anyway, yeah. Moving on. Katoro san. Uh, episode 7. This one was called, I believe, let me just check. In This World, comma, I. This basically is um conclusion from last week's episode. <laughs> Forgetting part. This had everything. I want to be perfectly honest here. This episode had everything. It had its usual zaniness. It was touching in the end. And got serious a few times, a few moments. So let's get into it. Beginning part of the episode, we got Monabe Kun and the grandfather. Those two were funny in the beginning part. I was like, damn. They're basically, you know, going down rapids, climbing mountains to get to the hot spring. And they finally get there and it's closed. Mixed bathing has been, is due to re renovations, the mixed bathing has been closed. The hot spring has been closed. And... They were like, <gasps> so depressed, they leave. Then we have, you know, them them being depressed there and everything. And everyone's having a good, they're eating now. Katoro-san made food. And so did Mori. Uh, Hiyori, Mori. That food she made should be banned. I'm dead serious. It's like, the food was so bad that she made. So bad. That when she ate it, because what happened was, um, before she, uh, they ate it, um, also happened, but I'll move on from there. Uh, Manabe Kun and the grandfather, they just, they're just like, yeah, oh, oh, they cut, they're just chopping down, the, dunking into the ground with tools, trying to find a hot spring. And the entire time they're doing this, uh, you know, uh, Decor uh, Kotoro san, you know, Haruka, she is looking at their thoughts and they're thinking, they're, you know, Bonavikun's thinking of her. And she, <laughs> He see she we see the image of her and she's like no very cool itchy you know a uh, pervert and the same thing with the grandfather and she's like I wouldn't go with both of you at all and everything so it was it was kind of a funny moment they don't they don't struck hot spring obviously they struck oil <laughs> I thought that was funny so when it's not happening they eat the food she eats he he's eating like real ferociously because he wouldn't he couldn't get into the hot spring with with, with with, he was upset about that, uh, Manabe. So, he eats Hiyori's food. It's like, his his skin is changing like 27 different colors and turns purple, and he throws it down, then a heart gullet, Hiyori, and then they all turn purple. The food was so bad, they were high. They were high. They were, it was so bad that they were actually drunk. It was almost as if 
the food had alcohol in it or something. And he started acting weird. He's, oh, it's just nasty, nasty stuff. They were like, they were, they're getting undressed and saying, oh, it was just so bad. They were also as if they were going to ha have sex, Madave and uh, Hiori. So the entire, this is happening. And then at that point, the head priest comes back and he sits down and the grandfather's looking at him and says, oh yeah, how, how you doing head priest? And, and he notices his face is, is depressed. And then we go to a flashback, the mother. And what happens is the mother's there and she says, oh, he, he's basically showing her Haruka, you know, Katoro-san, saying that she's better now and everything. And she's like, huh. And her expression is, listen, this woman has got to be the worst mother of, the, of ever, ever. Uh, the worst. I've never seen a mother in anime or elsewhere that would act like that. And she's saying, you know, you should you get away from her. She'll ruin your life like she did me. And she, she has nothing. And she's basically saying that if I got close to her anyway, we would just be hurting each other. And, you know, the grandfather's saying, oh, I, I had a feeling she was, was going to happen. And the head priest is telling him, I was just, I'm sorry, I was just trying to mend the situation. Later, uh, after that, they, they, they're goofing off, and they're saying, oh, Kato but I'm like, her, Katoro side is obviously better. And then, there's another moment, they're ready to leave the, the, the place, and um, she goes into her parent, her mother's room, and tells the head priest, oh, I knew she was here, and everything, and then they just leave. The rest of the episode was Manabe being so secretive. Even when after the morning after, it was so funny. They were in bed with each other. I was like, no. That was insane. He's like non-responsive to Kotorosan. And I'm like, what's going on here? So then one day, and she's trying to call him so she can hang out with him for the summer break. And he's not answering his phone. And then, it's, it's really weird for him. And then when there was one day when they were going to the club, he's like, he's thinking about times tables. And I'm like, what is going on with this guy? Totally secretive. They follow him. And this is part where uh, uh, Yuriko, she was touching him. And she's like, Opa, 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 basically means boobs. So, everything. But she, he wouldn't say to her anything, tell anything to Katoro when he saw her on the street. Um, at his job, anything. So it was very secretive. And then the next day, and then one di night, when she's sleeping, as the vacation's over, she's having a dream, and she sees her mother, and says, it, you should never have been born thing. And I was like, fucking bitch. And that's when they go back to school, the secret is revealed. And he goes to the club room, and the whole thing, the whole thing, reason why he wasn't there with her in the summer, why he got a job, her birthday. Because there was a scene also, I forgot to mention, that Mana Kun was talking to the grandfather, but we didn't see what they were talking about. It was about her birthday, her birthday was September 1st. And she, he spent the whole summer getting money. To prepare for her birthday party at the club room. And then, then, then this moment where she sees her mother and realizes she shakes her head and, and she starts crying and she realizes that she really that Bonabe really cared for her. He, he did all this for her and she's really touched by it. Gives her she he gives her a present. It wasn't much. He gave, gave her a present and they say happy birthday. And it was just aw a touching moment. Filled so this episode was really good. And that's pretty much what happened was really good because it was mixed with zaniness, funny zaniness shit going down between, you know, Madame and, and uh, uh, what's her face, um, Hiyori, 
in the same bed naked. It was like, oh, damn. To that and the beginning part, even the part with, you know, she goes to see, she goes to see, um, uh, uh, Katoro san and, and at one point, she, he always thinking these thoughts of, oh, now that she's in trouble with, with Monobi, I can go with him. And then she just, she gets up and, no, 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 it's just hitting her head against the wall. I was like, oh my God. So funny. But those moments were really funny in this episode, but it was filled with those moments. The thing with the mother, that was like, uh-oh, serious part. It was like, it was like a reminder to Katoro-san that, you know, this happened too. And it all come, came forward with that ending of the birthday party for her. And it was just, like, so touching. It was like, oh, you know? Now, I only got... I gotta wonder if the mother's gonna make another appearance based upon this. I mean, this was episode 7. And we got, like, about, what, 12? I think it's about 12, 13 episodes of Physical Tunnel Song. So, you gotta figure along the lines that... They, she might make another appearance. I would like to see her make another appearance and be like, it's dramatic. It's like, holy shit, you know, to make it more interesting. I mean, this appearance with her, it was like more or less, her appearance, the mother, in this scene, in this episode, was a reminder, was like, not a remind, well, kind of a reminder to Katoro-san saying, you know, you did these things and you were sad before and now all of a sudden you have friends. Yeah. She's reminding her that you ruin people. So. Thoughts-wise, I thought this was good. Like I said, the zaniness was in there. The the serious moment with the mother. And the ending with the emotional shit. So it was pretty, you know, touching. Very touching and funny at the same time. Good episode. Uh, next one, I believe, is going to be called It's Not a Date. Now, I don't know if this is for Katoro, son, and Manabe, or is it between Yuriko and the other guy, the vice president, I forgot his name. So, yeah, got to look forward to that. Actually, yeah, I I'm looking at it now, and it seems like it's slated for 12. It's slated for 12 episodes. So, yeah. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah, this is a good episode of Katoro-san. After this, I'm going to do uh, Psycho Pass. That is probably going to be huge. Oh, I can only imagine. Oh, damn. But this was a good episode of, of, of Katara san I liked it. Four out of five. Fairy tale. All I got before I don't want to get off to a topic here, but I want to say one thing about fairy tale chapter. The fairy tale chapter, man. The second half. The second half of that chapter. I don't know. I'll tell you right now, I don't know. It looked pretty beast. That's all I gotta say. So anyway, this is Balkan I22, Balkan I22, I will see you guys later, um, and that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, we'll look forward to more videos tomorrow, also, because I gotta do the tag video for the Seven Swordsman, look forward to that, and other videos, reviews, and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way, what a bit. and Rory, that was so funny, I ain't laughing. See ya.